Hi guys. Today we are going to a brand new place, new for both of us. Yeah, and it's uh, about 7:38 in the morning and it's already getting quite sunny as you can see. We are uh, walking out of the old fortress, Ichan Kala. Uh-oh. Capsule. Fresh bloopers. <laughs> so, we are walking to the north gate of the Ichan Kala fortress. So outside this gate we have to find one of those shared buses or minivans which they call trolley bus or marshutka so we expect to uh, take that from here to urgench which is the biggest city in this part of korzem oh i see one of them leaving so we'll uh, have to figure out the logistics of today's journey it's a little vague but the plan is to head northwestward into the desert of karakal pakistan which is one of the most incredible regions here because of a very interesting man made disaster that happened here and uh, maybe we'll tell you more about that as we approach the city so this is the fortified wall of ishan kala and outside that on the north gate we find these mini vans and tollies as they call it this these will take us to urgench yeah Hatte Burger. Ten thousand. Oh. So it's five thousand per person to go from Old Town to Urgench. So this bus is for. I think we have to go to the next one and wait. This is the car only. Okay, let's go. Oh, this car is for us. Rusty. Rusty. Working in. जर्नी to make the journey sort of like a tram just stop at the Come bus stand and some more people are getting on what to should our I bus mashuka it's such a wide main road and there are so many houses on that side and surprisingly look at all the green plants we never expected to see so much greenery here in uzbekistan we have almost reached urgench and you can see there's so much traffic it's a weekday morning Can you believe that the petrol cost here is only six and a half thousand, which is like forty-two Indian rupees? It's so cheap, and that is why you can see that all the transport here, the buses, the taxis, and even shared taxis and minivans like this are really cheap. Nukus, it na taxi divinatsu asonoku. Well, it's a taxi twelve. Taxi twelve, number twelve. Oh, okay. Da, da, da. So we just got off the minivan and uh, this place where we are here right now is called the Urgench bus station. This is where you get mini buses, trolley buses, uh, marshrutkas and small taxis, shared taxis basically to go all the way to uh, other cities in the nearby in in the vicinity you could say including Nukus. So they are of different classes and categories so you will find like the bare bones taxi as well as the more premium mm. one. <laughs> रूट नंबर and it costs 80000 per person to go from here to nukus yeah this was also told to us by our uh, host in nukus uh, so i guess the price is uh, like the standard fare it's not like a tourist versus local price they have this board inside the taxi itself yeah. which says how much it will cost route number is 12 so I let's go 18. check it out are considering that our plan is now to head to nukus we just waiting for this one i think this is the one that goes yeah. there's nobody in the vehicle you typically have to wait until it gets full for it to leave there's no fixed schedule 
uh, the driver on our uh, the driver of our minivan from Kiva to Urgench told us that it is best to take route number 12 and the cost is generally around 80,000 som. I mean, just take a look at the bus stand though. So, looks very busy. Uh, bus, now bus. Yeah, some less. No course. It's cool. <laughs> Sorry. We are reconfirming it to another person. Yeah, where is that place? To Koldun. Koldun. Is there a shared van from here? This is crazy. And now we're just sitting without a back rest. We just got down the master car and it dropped us out at this like taxi stand or a mini bus stand you can say. And he no said, course. from here, we can get a, either a private taxi or a shared taxi or a mini Ruski. bus to Nukus. Ruski, okay. So we need to figure that out now. Uzbeks, Uzbeks. Nukus. Yeah. Two hundred thousand songs Less, less, less. We want a cheap shared option. We can't afford so much. No, uh, no read. Aye, aye. Six and six and six on six and six on six and. Bro, this tractor is much. Oh, so I guess it's around two hundred thousand for the people who need a private taxi. Now we just trying to see if Nokos a cheaper shared option is available. Told us it was. I'm from India. Told yes. us it yeah. was yes. six. <laughs> My name is Shishira. My name is Ikram. Ikram. Nice to meet you. Ikram, how are you? How are you? English? Uh, do we get shared taxi to Nukus from here? Nukus, Nukus. Huh. From Nukus. Taxi. Shared taxi? Shared taxi. How much? Uh, Som? Som. Som, Som. Sex and. Sex and. Sex and. Ming. Uh, put it in the calculator, no? Yeah. I think he told. How much song? Yes, friends. Okay. Yes, I'm No, no, no. No, no. Six no, cent. no. Anna, it's in the last six cent number. No, no. no. Oh, okay. Yes, friends. Let's seven. go. This one? Let's yeah. go. Not make less six for cent. us. Six cent. Make little less for us. Please. Two people. Telephone, yes, friends, man. Okay. Let's go. So we are going in this car, sharing it with two other people. Yeah. So I think Namit will be sitting in front and yes. I will be behind. Let's get going, my friend. My friend, what is your name? Now. 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 My name is Ikram. Ikram. Do you speak English? Little? No, no. Little? Okay. Ah, Who's his name? How long it will take to go to Nukus? Our time? Two, two hours. Oh. Okay. And where you drop? In Nukus, where you stop? Nukus Bazar. Nukus Bazar. Nukus Bazar. Oh, okay. oh, that's nice. We get to keep our bags in the dicky. Is it what? Bye. That's it, Anya. That's it. Yeah. Now moving to Nukos. So we got into the shared taxi just now. Nam? 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 I am a little bit of a name. Name, name. Ah, Shaukat, Shaukat. 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 Yes, <laughs> Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Yeah. So he's taking us from here in uh, Urgench Bazaar all the way to uh, Nukos Bazaar, which is where we'll get off and then we'll have to figure out the next journey. So all of this is coming to 80,000. It's now 9.54.
He is driving so fast. I think it's going at around 120 kilometers per hour. I don't even have a seat belt. Now it has a seat belt. for a snack break. Nobody bought snacks, somebody bought water. And now we're on the move again. So this is the Amudarya River that flows is the only one of two rivers that flows in this entire region, the major river systems. And for Uzbekistan, the western half, this is the lifeline. And as you can see, the bridge is actually made of just like metal plates on barges. You can see the barges actually there. The water level isn't too deep. You see a sandbank right here. And this man is fishing. We've just arrived in Nukus and the taxi dropped us off in the bazaar area. So now we have to go about 6 kilometers to the west of the city, uh, just by the Amodarya river. So we are quite close to the river there. So our host has invited us to his home for lunch. Uh, so we'll introduce you to him when we get there. Yay! Somebody just recognized that we are from India and they started talking. Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> Nukus? You're from Nukus? Oh. So our first impressions of Nukus already show that this is actually a pretty big city. We didn't expect that it will be this big. Yeah, in my mind, I imagine this old underdeveloped town with, you know, mud roads and small houses here and there. But it's actually a fancy city. It's so developed. Yeah. And a lot of this place actually reminds us of Russia because the, the way the buildings are, like the colors they use, the gardens in front of it, it's all very similar to what we had seen in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Yes. So... Yeah, and, and the city is very busy, like we can see so many people all about and vehicles, I think it's uh, it's lunchtime now, but there's so much traffic, I can only imagine what rush hour would be like around here. So we have to now cross, yes, this is how everybody crosses the road here. This is not the way to cross the road, <laughs> but this is what Asians generally do. So many taxis, uh, we do not know which one to get on to. Again, the translator app helping us. Ah, okay. You can speak here, it will translate for me. It's been such a struggle to find out this food. Google Translate isn't working well for Uzbek, but it is working well for Russian. So we're trying to figure it out. Now there are four people coming to help us. Feels a little strange. One person told take route number one, another person is telling take route number twelve. We're not sure. He's telling go straight and take a left. So right now we're inside the bus station right next to the market and we have to find route number 47. This place looks absolutely busy. There is so much happening. Vehicles are honking. People are walking so fast. And we are here. Route number 47. 47. 
Вот это Okay. Okay, we finally found our marshuka. It's 3,000 per bus. This is the fourth bus we have got onto since morning. And I hope it takes us to the rest destination. Hope there's not another bus to catch. And now our bus is getting filled with people. It's jam packed and crazy. The Marshutka just dropped us off at its last stop and look around it's all empty this side and on this side you can see a few houses <gasps> Namit is leaving me and going okay come Shish <laughs> What's you up, guys man? must be wondering how I am heard so clearly from all the way here but that's because of the new mic thanks do you feel that this new mic is making our vlogs uh, audio better let us know I keep telling Namneet, let's continue using this mic. Sometimes he disagrees and tells that we need to use the other Sony ZV-1's mic. So you should be the better judge. You let us know which one is better for you. <sighs> Today we have used Google Translate so many times. I think it has been so helpful for us today. Uzbek language was not getting picked up at all by Google Translate. Luckily or thankfully, many people here talk Russian and Russian works very well on Translate. Finally, after four buses and hundreds of Google Translate conversations, we have finally made it. Well, almost made it because we have to walk another 400 or 500 meters to our friend's house. Hello. Waalaikum salam. Nice to meet you. Hello. Shishira. Hi, guys. We are here staying with a very wonderful family of Abdul Hamid. Uh, so here his mother, his wife and uh, his child. Uh, and they also have a cat. All of these guys live here in this beautiful home. It's a very traditional Uzbek house. And um, the way we found him is interesting. I actually saw this very same family on the video of uh, Ashish, Destination Hopper. After making friends with Ashish, uh, I reached out to him one day and said, Hey, uh, we're planning to go to Nukus and uh, remember in your video you stayed with this family so uh, do you think they'd be interested to meet somebody like us? So we could definitely return the favor by cooking them up some delicious South Indian food. Um, so yeah that that's how you know he referred us here and then we came this afternoon and uh, came into their house. They welcomed us very wonderfully. They had a beautiful lunch planned uh, and it was all vegetarian. They knew that we were uh, not meat eaters so they made that for us and uh, they gave us a very nice place to stay. Uh, in fact, we were so tired from the very hot journey that we just slept. And now about two hours later, we are ready. So Shish is already here. She's cooking. Hope it comes out well because I haven't cooked in so long. And I'm so scared if I miss this up. We might not have anything else to eat. If, if I usually cook, I'll always have a backup for now. It goes bad. I can give the backup for today, but I'm very scared here. So you can see the nervousness is real. Uh, it's the first time we are ever cooking anything for strangers like this. So we're trying to get it right. And we'll introduce you to them probably at dinner. So I plan to make two dishes. One is dals, which can be eaten with rice. Another one is tomato curry, which can be eaten with chapati. Or naan. Or naan. Naan. <laughs> This is the most I've seen her cook in all these years of marriage. I think after this I'm going to take a holiday for cooking for another year. Or three? Or four? Maybe forever. So Abdul Hamid is very impressed by how big mm. this roti is becoming. It's the first time you're seeing this? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. <laughs> 
Interesting us. Vanilla is very curious. She's so curious, she's now started shooting a video of this one. So this is our good friend, Abdul Hamid. Hi. Hi. So you've been here all your life in Nukus mm -hmm. and this is your hometown. Yeah. Yes. And this is your wife. My wife, Venera. Venera. Hi, Venera. Hi. Hi. And this um, is your my, mother? My, my mother, Zamira. Zamira. Salam. And a little Muhammad. <laughs> He's taking a little nap. I would. <laughs> I think this guy is the happiest guy yeah. I've yeah. seen here yeah. in Uzbekistan, always smiling. So we met Abdul Hamid on couch surfing and he came here. Uh, he's been very gracious to host us to experience the real life here in Uzbekistan. And as a thank you, we are also giving him a fun experience of Indian food. So are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I see Venera is already taking social media videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take like this, small piece. Uh -huh. so, uh, uh -huh. And then you take the curry like this. Uh -huh. How much ever you want. Uh -huh. And then you eat it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Super delicious. Really? <laughs> yeah. You can be honest, it's yeah, okay. It's <laughs> Yeah. When did that come out? It's fine. Your Nona glasses. Huh? Shishira is wearing Nona glasses. Look at her. You think it's Nona glass or not? Shishira used to work in VMware a long time ago, but she still thinks she is working there now. I like VMware. <laughs> then she worked in another company called EY. I won't tell you where I work. <laughs>